The Werewolf Coffee Bar is an independent shop placing an emphasis on inclusivity and serving up some fun, glittery lattes. And joining us now with more is manager Jess Rowe and barista Kevin Spain. Thank you guys for coming in. Thank you for having us. Werewolf Coffee. It kind of seems weird because werewolves, you think of coming out at night. <laughs> Coffees, you think about drinking <laughs> in the morning. Yeah. So how does this name fit? You know, I think it was more just a name of... Uh, something they liked and just kind of that a like big bad you know yeah know. dark shadowy like okay. um dark you know, coffee yeah okay. that dark coffee Ooh, kinda okay. edgy you guys really <laughs> focus on inclusivity talk about that yeah so um you know from the second I took over the shop I just wanted to make sure that this was a place that no matter what your coffee background no matter what your background in general is that you felt welcome coming into our shop so that's something we push for every single day and is um you know something that we include in our coffee. So each month, usually we have, we pick a charity or a local organization that we create a drink around and, you know, donate a portion of the proceeds of that drink each month to them. Um, actually, this past weekend, we just threw a huge block party um, to raise support for nonviolent Chicago. Amazing. So, um, yeah, we just are always looking to do those things and be able to use our shop for good. That's and great. at the same time, you make some fantastic drinks. Mm -hmm. yes. So let's, let's talk about one of these drinks you're going to make for us today. Of course. So our signature drink is the charcoal latte, which um, is a dark, charcoaly, glittery latte, which really okay, great. appeals to people very much. So, um, its key ingredient is indeed the charcoal. Okay. Um, so, it's um, definitely the crowd favorite and it's very like Instagrammable yes. and things like that. So, it really draws people. Um, our shop is a little bit secluded. Um, we're on the Elston Corridor, so right between like Bucktown and Lincoln Park. Mm -hmm. So, it's not exactly like a walkable area. It's actually right past where the 606 in oh, Bucktown yeah. ends. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. So, just a little bit further. So, eventually, one day we may end up on the 606. Six. But as of right now, we are not there yet. So it's kind of a we want you know something cool to bring people out. So yeah, we uh, really try to make really fun, exciting lattes, and the charcoal is definitely like our number so one right now. So that's activated charcoal. Yes. Yeah, so that's activated charcoal, completely edible. Um, it's actually and supposed to be good for you, right? Yeah. It's uh it's not bad. Some people use it for health purposes. Yeah. So. That's not exactly what we're doing it for, but it fun. Yeah. yeah. But the uh, the dark color, you know, goes back to that, you know, kind werewolf of werewolf aesthetic that we go for. So, so you already have? A, is it a shot of espresso in there? Yes. Yeah, so we have a shot of espresso right here that we already have pulled. Okay. So um, then we just add the charcoal, and we have our glitter. I like, Let me see. I guess I should look yeah, at this. There you way. go. Oh, look at it. Wow. Yeah, I'll put some extra in there just to make sure it looks extra, really extra. sparkly. Yeah, and then we do syrups. Um, our go-to syrups for we um, have honey in this drink, Ooh. and then we will do either lavender or vanilla, Ooh. just kind of depending on the season. So and it goes that. in the milk, not in the actual coffee. Um, no, actually, so this is just hot water oh, and charcoal water. to okay. get the charcoal, and then we'll mix it into the espresso. And then over here, Kevin's going to be steaming our milk. Great. So then the milk is the last step once this is all combined. Okay. That is pretty. Oh, you can kind of look over there. there. Oh, so okay. pretty. All right. We're looking at Okay. Yeah, she must have so many like little kids that come in and are like, I want that. Well, I want that. Like, no, you're not drinking coffee. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. All right. And then we just froth, froth up some milk yep. for us. Steam up some milk. We're gonna texturize the milk real quick. Oh, how do you do that? Now you you, you got a barista charm going. Yeah, in. yeah. yeah He'll handle yeah. all that jargon. Um, <laughs> What we're doing is, we call it texturizing the milk. Um, we're breaking down some of the fats, we're stretching the proteins, um, and what that actually does is it, it wakes up the inherent sweetness in the milk, Ooh. Uh, in addition to making it all nice when it hits the water. Okay, all right, I love that. So you can kind of hear it. Yeah. Uh -huh. And we don't want it too hot, we don't want to burn it. And when you're doing this, it seems to get bigger where you get that froth. Absolutely, okay. that's the aeration, there's air adding yeah. in. Sometimes you'll see at coffee shops, they'll have a temperature reader in here. Yeah. Uh -huh. When we do trainings, we just do the ouch. The uh -huh. ouch, ouch, mm -hmm. it's ready. Yeah, okay, I got it. And then, <laughs> once the cup starts to burn your hands, then you're like, you okay, know you're good. Put it down. Ouch. Yeah. Okay. 
And then you can do these, you can do these at home because obviously that's a very affordable thing here. Yes. It is. This yes. may or may not have come from my kitchen. Yes. yes. So, yeah, like, I know that's that not yes, There's a the purchasable store. home yeah. <laughs> one. Our at machine at the shop, it would take up like this whole thing and it's like connected to a water line right. and all that kind of stuff. So and that then guy, doing that, what do you do? When, you when do knocking out the big bubbles, uh, we call that the macro foam because we don't want the big bubbles going into the drink. Okay. Uh, you want it to be nice and smooth. We can really know. On Look, how to be so a much, barista here. Mm -hmm. So much to it that we don't know. All right, while you guys are Lovely. finishing that up, we want to make sure we get all the information up on the screen so folks can find you, because like you said, yes, uh, it's right there near the 606. Oh, look uh, at that. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, so pretty. Oh, that's how you do that. Oh, that's yes. so pretty. Isn't that beautiful? beautiful? Oh my gosh, yes. Oh, wow. That is gorgeous. We're going to be lucky to taste that. I'll try it. Okay. Oh, thank you. Oh, yes. All right. There's the information for Warehouse Coffee Bar. It's over on Elston. The Ooh. social media handle. What did I say? Warehouse. Yeah. Werewolf. <laughs> Werewolf <laughs> Coffee Bar. It's over on Elston. There's mm. the social media handles as well as the website. You that like it? That is good. It's sweet enough, but not overly okay, powerful. I'm going to try the yeah, other, other side. side. That's really good. Mm -hmm. Jess, Jacob, thank you guys for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank that you. Thank really you so much for having us. Oh, good. Isn't that good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. I like that.